residents and leaders in Rubanda district are expressing dissatisfaction and frustration due to the Uganda National Roads Authority UNRWA abandoning a broken road that kept in approximately three months ago. The roads collapsed, disrupted usual transportation, and caused inconvenience to the local community, impacting their daily lives and economic activities. On 4th May 2023, road users woke up to crack at Ibuara village, Hamura Town Council, Rubanda district, and before they could understand what was happening, the road had already caved in. General transport from Kabale, Chisoro, and Bak was halted for about three hours until traffic police in the area cleared small vehicles to cross. Despite appeals for urgent repair, UNRWA's lack of action has left residents feeling neglected and unheard, raising concerns about safety and further damage to the area. Speaking to some of the road users, they expressed their frustration with UNRWA's handling of the situation. When the road caved in, UNRWA initially brought equipment and made a promise to complete the repairs within three weeks. However, to their disappointment, before even a week had passed, the equipment and workers disappeared from the site without any explanation. <laughs> This also said that as a result, the remaining part of the road, which is still open for use, poses a significant challenge and safety risk for the road users, adding that the potential for accidents is a major concern as the road's instability and unrepaired section create hazardous conditions for vehicles and pedestrians, school children as well as cattle. <laughs> Nazapichi, <laughs> As the road users continue to face difficulties in their direct commutes and transportation needs, they remain hopeful that UNRWA will take immediate action to address the road's condition and restore safe passage for everyone using the road. Residents also expressed their urgent need for UNRWA to fulfill its promises and quickly resume the repairs to ensure the safety and accessibility of the road. <laughs> Stephen Ampeile Kasamia, the Rubanda district chairperson, expresses his frustration with UNRWA's handling of the road repair. As he had previously warned, UNRWA's inability to complete the work within three weeks has proven their incompetence, lack of cooperation, and careless approach to quick response. He emphasizes his growing concern, particularly with the expected rains this month, which pose a significant risk of further damage to the already vulnerable road. In September, the rains are going to come back. 
I look at this road going to crack, it is going to close. Now, we have been contacting UNO on this matter, but UNO is not responding. They keep telling us that they are arranging machines, they are arranging machines, they are coming. The accessibility to Kabale, from Kabale to Kisoro, has been so much, so much disturbed with. What the children are doing, actually, uh, we, we told them to use the other part which they were repairing, uh, repairing. They go through the valley and climb, and that's where the animals are using, because the road is so narrow, that when the truck comes, it finishes all the road that is remaining. Mm. It means that these cows cannot close, children cannot pass. You have no alternative. The only alternative you have is to wait for the truck to first pass, then you close, then you pass. It means we are going to have accidents here. But one fundamental thing that is likely to happen, and this one I'm telling you, when the rains of September come, this road is going to be cut off completely. Stephen Ampeile Kasambia emphasizes the critical nature of the situation and stresses the need for urgent action to prevent any further deterioration of the road. He strongly urges UNRWA to prioritize the repair work and respond promptly and efficiently to safeguard the safety of road users and maintain the crucial connectivity that this road provides. He highlights the significant role the road plays in promoting economic growth, not only in Uganda districts, also in neighboring districts such as Kabale, Kisoro, and Kanungu. Furthermore, he points out that the road serves as an essential link between the neighboring countries of Congo and DRC. I want to appeal to the people, to UNRWA, Uganda National Roads Authority. Uh, recently they came here, they were talking about Katuna, uh, he says a road. To me, before they can get on Katuna, he says, on road, they should first put this road right. Because we maintain what is there first. They came doing the, the surveys. To me, I'm thinking that the first thing is they should reinstate this road. The th two months, uh, the next month, actually half August and September, when the rain is come, <laughs> uh, I'm very suspicious. We shall not be going to work. Neither will people of, uh, of Kabali be going to Kisolo nor will the trucks be going to Congo, because this is a highway that connects to Congo and actually Rwanda. It is a challenge. Our relationship with UNRWA is extremely not good. This one I can say it. I don't want to hide it. Alan Sempewa, the UNRWA spokesperson, emphasizes in a phone interview with a reporter that their equipment had indeed broken down, but assured that repairs are being made. However, he did not provide a specific timeline for when the road would be fully functional again. Sempewa father says that they are securing more materials that are still under procurement. What is happening though, beyond record, our works are ongoing. We have not uh, abandoned site. We have equipment on site as well. There is a process for procuring of additional and uh, more suitable materials, which is taking a bit longer, but it's ongoing. Traffic flow is normal, but being guided around that section uh, to ensure that uh, vehicles are able to cross through that section. So I've been informed that we are doing more procurement for additional materials as well for site. And uh, this is where we have a bit of lag. That's why you may notice that uh, works may not be fast as they should be, because this is also taking a bit longer. This road at Wara village, Hamura Town Council, Rubanda District, cracked and caved in on 4th May 2023. A story by John Anamara, Nobatinya Machi for Kigas TV.